Boy, you don't know that we know about you is up all my guys and goddesses and welcome back to the channel where we spend out the love positivity and happiness and that's on what that's on period my good sis um today i'm doing a tutorial video on reshade um because reshade is amazing so here we are um I, on reshade.me so i'm just gonna go step by step on how you do it um it's pretty quick it's pretty easy and then we're gonna go in game and check it out so basically you're gonna go to reshade.me and then you're gonna hit the download button it's gonna come and bring you all the way down here and it, you can just click download and it'll download and you know it'll go in your download thingy and then you will open it right you open it uh so i had it down there but i moved it because i had a lot of stuff <laughs> in my downloads folder so i'm just gonna go to my downloads folder off camera a little bit and i will just move this over here so it's downloaded and this is what it looks like um when you go to your downloads folder or like if you have it on google chrome you could just open it so i'm just gonna open it and then um, you click the click here to select the game and manages reset on installation. Mm hmm. So yeah, we're gonna <laughs> find our Sims 4 game. Uh, if you can't find it right here, then you'll just go to browse, and then you'll go to where your game is. So mine is on my C drive right here, and then you'll go to program files times 86. And then you will scroll, scroll, scroll till you see Origin Games, right? And then The Sims 4, and then Game, and then Bin, and here you are. So I already have it installed, kind of. I mean, I already have it installed. I'm just reinstalling it to update it. But then you will um, go ahead and click on the 64 bit game. I guess if you have the 32, you can put it on there too. But I have the 64 so that's cool <laughs> you'll click that and then you'll hit open right and then i'm going to ask you which rendering api does the sim 4 use we're going to click direct 3d9 and then i'm updating so mine's going to say update but yours i think is going to say like install or something and we're just going to hit okay <laughs> and you can leave all of this checked and that is okay now you can edit the reshade settings I'm not going to because <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm not I'm gonna not gonna do all of that. So basically, your reshade setup was successful. Cool, boom. So you can literally just exit it out, and it is in your game. But then you have to make sure that you have some reshades. So in order to do that, I'll have you guys come back over here. So again, we're gonna go back to our C drive and program files we are going to oh that was yeah times 86 sorry um and then you will go to origin games you will go to the sims 4 you will go to game you'll go back to bin and then boom um these are some of the reshades that i have money and milk um mysterious lights created sim mysterious lights gameplay you know all of these um honestly i'm gonna go ahead and just shout out Dimplicity. she helped me with this when i first did it so and this is where I got all of my reshades from, but I'm gonna put a new one in today just to show you guys. Um, so I have a new reshade that I'm gonna download and it's by Urban Sims. She's wonderful, go check her out. So basically all you need to do to, to put your reshade in there is literally drag and drop, okay? Right here, you don't have to put it in any of these folders. None of these folders, you can literally just put it right there, okay? Right there, nowhere else. Please don't put it anywhere else. Um, the order of how to get to this particular folder, I will have in the description box below as well. It would have been it would have been on the screen while I was doing it, but I'm gonna also have it in the description box below just in case I go too fast for you or you don't remember or you're doing this later on, like later on in the day, so you don't have to go back through the video. It will be in the video as well in the description box below, so you can know how to get back to this and just make sure you drag and drop the new reshade that you put in there. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna hop into game so that I can show you guys what it looks like in game. Okay, so we are in game and I'm gonna show you a little bit of how to make it work in game for you. So in order to get the um, 
reshade thing to come up um also i just updated my game before i started this video so i've not seen any of this so i'm also gonna make a video on a little bit of my reaction to the new um things for the update but you know whatever i'm gonna be super duper late later than everybody else so yeah but like who cares i'm still gonna put my opinion out there yeah so basically what you're gonna do to get the reshade to come up you're gonna push the push uh press the home button right right so normally my game is in this reshade zit cells right but yeah you're gonna hit the home button and then boom you're gonna click this and this is where all your reshades would be okay all your reshades would be right here and you can just click wherever you want them to be clicked as you can see this is the one i just downloaded so i'm gonna click it and oh apparently now you have to push select it's compiling <laughs> i'm tripping i'm tripping okay yeah so sometimes it takes a minute to load but again it's not your game it's the reshade thing it has to uh, comprehend what's going on so yes that's how you get your settings i mean that's how you get your new reshade you'll click that click the one you want press select um this is what the updated version again so yeah um cool right um and you can turn these on and off i guess if you want to but honestly leave it leave it sis i say leave it don't make this difficult settings let's go over to our settings now my sis is um it's not complicated but you just gotta make sure um that you do this so that it works for you right okay so the overlay key this is basically yeah your shortcut key <laughs> to how to get it to come up and it's i'm assuming default home so i say leave it at home if it's not at home you'll click it and then you'll press the actual home key okay okay so also if you hover over these they tell you what they do <laughs> okay just a key back there the second one is the effect toggle key so this is how you turn the effect on and off right so mine's is that little squiggly key the om key as i'm assuming which will turn the reshade on and off so if you guys were wondering you know what if i keep doing that i'm gonna get off settings for a second so if you were wondering what it looks like off this is what the game normally looks like it's dark it's boring it's garbage and this is what the reshade makes it do it makes it bright see on i mean this is off on off on so you can see the difference between the two um helps you you know gather the difference so yeah so that's the key that i use to turn it on and off is that little squiggly key all the way on the left end of your keyboard right below the escape button okay okay and again to change these you'll just hit whatever the button is that you want it to be so if you didn't want it to be that squiggly line it could be w it could be e it could be d okay it could be whatever you feel comfortable with it being um i just did the keys that Dimplicity told me to do that she did because i look okay thinking ain't my ain't my strong suit i didn't do anything for these because she didn't tell me to so i don't recommend you do it okay just leave it just leave it be sis so the screenshot key is the key you're going to use to screenshot your pictures while the red shade is on that can also be anything you want it to be um i chose insert <laughs> And that's only because Dimplicity told me to choose insert and it works fine for me. You can make it anything you want it to be. You can make it insert. Just you just remember that you cannot make the keys the same key. So if you have insert for your screenshot key, you can't have insert for your toggle key. I mean like your effects on and off key, okay? You have to make it something different, all right? And then you need to also, okay, so then your screenshots path, you need to make sure that it is to your screenshots yeah basically you just need to make sure that it's gonna go to your screenshots and to change it you'll just click this and set the path that you want it to go to so mine is on my um screenshots that is automatically in my electronics arts folder so like you know if you took an in-game screenshot it'll go to the screenshots folder in the electronic arts folder the sims 4 folder you know where you would look to see where your mods are and all that good stuff i think that is all that i changed i don't think i messed with any of the rest of this i think i just messed with those few things that i just spoke about so i say go for it sis um if you have any questions any questions at all <laughs> i promise um you can comment down below or you could direct message me um in on twitter if you're very confused my twitter will be on the screen um if you're confused to the point where you just like girl that video didn't make no sense <laughs> that's pretty much it with the reshade guys honestly and this is what it looks like on and off again just to let you guys know um again if you guys have any specific questions you guys can comment that comment them down below 
um, the path to get to certain things. A lot of things will be in the description box below to help you guys out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. My haters give me clarity and popularity. I'm still fing boss.